probably going to regret this, but I made my decision on what car to bring to LS Fest, and it's the... It's the SS. Just got done waxing this thing. Went ahead and gave it a complete detail. That's one reason I really didn't want to bring this car. Because I knew it was filthy and it was going to need some work. <sighs> but it's looking good. I just have to see what it's going to look like in the daylight. See if the swirls in that show up. Really hope not, but I don't have high hopes. So there we go. Clean the seats. We vacuumed everything. Gave everything a dusting. Life in that garage is not that easy. And these cars are getting a little humid inside. They're getting a little musty in there. <sighs> I really need those car capsules. And I know if I put these cars in car capsules, I'll never, ever drive them. Now, another thing. This car is just a couple miles away from rolling on the 12,000. Me driving this to Kentucky is going to put like 13,000. Now, I know people, that's what they're there for, to drive. But... I don't drive them often. I enjoy when I do drive them. I really don't like... I mean, you know how many times I can enjoy it on a short little cars and coffee trip? There and back, driving an hour, put maybe 40, 50 miles on the car. Versus spending all day with it. Doing a thousand miles, but... Yeah. But anyhow, I think I might have to look at getting this... Taking this car and dropping it off. Getting a paint correction and a ceramic coat. I never thought I'd say that, but when I bought this thing, uh, there was a stop sale on these cars for a while because there was a seatbelt recall. Something to do with the cable right here it was rubbing on this piece and it was starting to fray, so they redesigned this whole system here so it wouldn't rub through. And the car sat on the parking lot you might see like there's a couple little spots in here where some like bird droppings kind of got into the clear coat now the dealer offered to go ahead and repaint the hood i think maybe part of but they were going to repaint the top surfaces but i didn't want to repaint the car I wanted something factory, so I figured I'd deal with it. But the detail department went ahead and, and tried to, like, compound it out. And ever since then, it's been a battle. I get it looking good, but it doesn't stay that way because this paint's, like, extremely dry. So it's been a battle. <laughs> it's a, the love of having a black car. Yes. Everything shows. But most important thing you need to do for your wife on your anniversary is flowers and i had them delivered today i thought she was actually gonna be home today i forgot she was working she just came home so i had these delivered in russia white flowers mean peace and love so i always try to get some kind of white in there yeah happy anniversary Mm -hmm. mm, it smells good. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Mm, so pretty. Look, look at you, honey. Mm -hmm. You need to write for your wife. Yes. That's how it's done. Be Don Juan Perignon or whatever. <laughs> whatever that is. All right, man. I got to get to bed because we got to get early and get to Kentucky. But see, I have to do this for her because it's our anniversary and she's letting me go to Kentucky. And she's going to be stuck at work. Yeah, it's <laughs> Yeah, with all the COVIDs. All right, guys, we'll see you in the morning. Going to Kentucky. And with that, we are ready to hit the road. Special thanks to Dan the Man for making me some great driving tunes. Luckily, the uh, SS still has a CD player. Somewhere after this car, 16 or 17, 
well, definitely 17. My dad's does not have the uh, CD player, so ah, one of the benefits to the 15, you still get CD player. All right, everyone, we got long drive. Probably lots of stop for gas. I already filled up this car yesterday, and I'll put a little screenshot of what it cost me for the first tank. So we are starting off on the full tank, and we'll see how bad this 6.2 it's gonna hurt me on this trip. All right, let's get on the road. This is about as flat as it gets. I mean, it's... the average has gone up. I started out like 16.4, so it's worked its way up, but pretty much hovering about 20 21 for the most part down the hill it goes up of course and, you know going up the hill like now it's reading 19 so yeah I probably average about 20 on this trip I've been driving uh, 67, not even quite two hours yeah because I stopped at Walmart to get uh, a few grocery things uh, some Gatorade because it is hot it's gonna be hot out there it's wide open so I've learned my lesson not to pay the really high cost of the vendors there sorry I like supporting small little businesses but it is way too expensive so I got some uh, power aid and some water and a cooler in the trunk uh, so yeah I have been on the road two hours and I'm almost burned a quarter tank of gas Uh, this car's thirsty, but you don't buy this thing for uh, fuel economy. So. All right, that's the uh, almost two-hour update. I'll probably uh, check in with you at Kentucky. stop number one sorry if it's a little bit loud gas stop number one i still have a quarter of a tank i, I could still go according to car another 130 miles but i'm about to cross over into tennessee and i was looking at the prices on uh, gas buddy the gas finding app it gives you the good prices in it and the prices in tennessee are going to go up quite a bit like another 20 30 cents a gallon so i'm going to go ahead and fill up here the prices in kentucky are fairly cheap about the same as here so Right now I'm paying uh, 379 for uh, premium. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Maybe like a little restroom break and then uh, should be able to push through all the way to Kentucky from here. Hopefully. So a little check in from the road.
So we made it, not bad. The car only used a, when I say only, but it used a tank and a half. So I still got half a tank. But check this out, this is an Airbnb. We have two beds, sorry, I meant to film this before I messed it all up, but I was really tired and I got here and went and laid down. So I have a computer desk. This is where I'll be editing my uh, video for LS Fest. Yeah, you got a couch to sit at. They got some books if you're into reading. I don't really read. I watch YouTube videos. Here's a door that you come in. So this is an upstairs of the people's house. We have a pretty good sized fridge here. We have a table here. They even give you some snacks and that. And I already got all my trash up here. Uh, they give you a toaster and a Keurig. And look, they even give you some coffee. Got a microwave, bowls, plates, a little sitting area here, sitting area here. Have a TV. Oh, there's even some movies. I miss that. And if you have kids, there's like a kids' play area here. So they have some stuff right here for the kids. And then you have a little bathroom. It's not, you know, shower, which I've already used. So, pretty cool place. I am really liking the Airbnb thing. I don't have to worry about my car getting dinged up. It's not in the hotel parking lot. And as a matter of fact, I got all my instructions online. There's a keypad lock on the door outside the house. He told me where to park in the driveway. Come around, enter the key van, come up, and here's everything. Uh, even right there, we have our own thermostat. And this thing is, look at how big this is. This is way more room. I mean, if I had a hotel room for the same price or maybe even a little bit more, I probably wouldn't even have this much room as it is. So, pretty freaking cool. All right, um, it's kind of late. I'm going to get to bed and we're going to go to LS Fest, which... Um, that's what I want to mention. That's going to be a whole nother video, which you would have already seen because I'm planning on putting that out immediately. This is just going to be part of the vlog. So part of my vlog is just me getting here. I've kind of found in the past that doing a vlog, driving to an event, doesn't really interest people. People want to tune into the video just to see the event. So that's what I'm going to do. Tomorrow I'm going to go film LS Fest, and it's just going to be 100% LS Fest. And if anybody cares on how I got there and what I drove and all that other stuff, you're tuning into this vlog. So, all right, good night. We'll see you in the morning. Police presence is definitely high around here. I'm going to make sure we don't do any Mustang kind of stuff. All right, good morning. Slept really good at the Airbnb. And uh, currently just around the corner from Beach Bend Raceway. For LS Fest, like I said, it'll be a whole nother video, which you should have seen. It's going to come out before the vlog, so I hope you enjoyed it. Good morning, everyone. So I've been trying to get this LS, fit, LS Fest video posted all night long. It's been going, and it's still only 50%. Like the internet here at the Airbnb is worse than old AOL dial-up. So I'm hot spotting it off my phone right now, which is which isn't gonna do much good because there's not much cell service here. So I'm gonna go into town, go to Panera Bread. I know they have a uh, Wi-Fi available. I'm not sure if the lobby's open because McDonald's wasn't, but uh guess what? KY Chevy is on his way and he said he's gonna meet me there. So let's go there, try to get this video uploaded, and uh meet our good friend to the channel KY Chevy well this is something that's not gonna happen every day we are driving on the wrong side of the road and it's legal ah, check that out hell yeah all right uh, I went to Panera Bread trying to upload this video their internet's just as slow I don't know what's going on with the internet here 
Sorry, guy. I really tried. Really tried for you. Try to get this out by noon. Probably leave here at like 11 or 12. Try to find someplace else to hot spot from. We're trying, man. We're trying. I think this Wednesday war for big exhaust tip. Check it out. It's KY Chevy in the house. Oh, it's a Ford. Oh, at least it's a stick. But he's definitely got the biggest tailpipe ever. YouTubers who got a big channel stays humble and actually sit and stand there and talk to people. It's really nice. Never forget where you come from when you do this. Look at them. Cool guy, man. Wow, incredible difference between Friday and Saturday's show. The parking's already way out here in another field. There's so many more people there. I'm glad I came here on a Friday. It was a lot more free and open to walk around and videotape and do that stuff. So my back's hurting. Uh, I left KY Chevy trying to get back to go ahead and uh, upload this video. I did see uh, Mike Davenport, the Chevy douche, and I did good. I didn't walk over and punch him in the face. No, I can't say that. Yeah, I, I just, I really don't care for the guy. You know, my whole deal trying to get the C8 with that guy. But, yeah, I can't believe it looks, in my personal opinion, it looks to me like he's copying Street Speed 717. You know, his channel blew up when he wrapped his Corvette. Well, he's got his little C8 there. And it's all wrapped with funny colors and all crazy stuff. And he's even got his little name on the side. Whatever. He just, he just looks like a freaking douche. But... I bought a motorhome instead of a C8, so I think I probably made a better decision. I got enough fun cars. Still got my SS, Brown, GTO, all that. All right, I'm gonna go try to find some Wi Fi and get this video uploaded. Here's something you don't get when you stay in a hotel you don't get a little pony, and you don't get sheep. My Airbnb has it. Pony. Little pony. Look at you. Yeah. Little pony. Little pony. Yeah. Little pony. And look, there's sheep. Oh, are you gonna follow me? You following me? And we have sheep. Little baby sheep. Bah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Man, look at this. Got all this. Man, I think I could live here. I like this. This guy's got a lot of property. What do you nip that, huh? What do you nip that, huh? What do you nip that? What do you nip that? What do you nip that? All right, last day here. Heading home first thing in the morning. Been, been fun, been a good trip. Good to see KY Chevy. I think we might be seeing him later on for dinner. He's going to spend the day. I said, I already spent a lot of time yesterday at uh, LS Fest. Oh, that's right. I've been sitting at McDonald's for 40 minutes uploading the video. So I got it live, finally. It's September 11th. 
remember everyone that lost their lives those days like 20 years ago. And we're just back in that mess again. Hopefully it'll work out. All right, well, I'm going to go inside and cool off a little bit. Please excuse the hat. I'm really not in the thing to wear hats backwards, but if you see, if I do that, it's all shadowed out, and I'm so a little bit overdue for a haircut. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, good trip out there. Me, the SS, we made it back uh, totally fine. That car is such a joy to drive. It's so much fun. It's got the power when you need it. Uh, it's got the handling if you need it, you know, put it on tour mode, it rides soft, but if I'm going to come off the interstate or if there's some twisty roads, I can reach down real quick and put it into sport or performance mode and tighten the suspension up and have some fun with that car. You know, I toyed around with a couple people on the interstate, you know, they go blowing by me thinking they're fast, and, you know, I just hit the gas and kind of show them like you're passing me because I'm, I'm allowing you to pass me. <laughs> I did have one instance on the way home, it was a two-lane road guy in a ford explorer cuts me off and then doesn't even go to speed limit like he's just playing game i don't know what his deal was you know it's early sunday morning i'm trying to make it home uh right after he did that there's a pass on so i start passing him. this is where i can tell this guy's an ass so he starts to try to accelerate he's going to keep me from getting around him <laughs> so I, I get around him and then shortly up the road it goes to three lanes there's a passing lane so he starts to pass me on the right so i grab the paddle shift and i go down a gear I let him get a little bit more, I go down one more gear, and I wait for him to get right off the nose of the car, and I go down one more gear and a third, and I just hammer it, and just launch past him. I quickly go up another gear and just, I was like, see you, moron. It's like, why do you want to be in front of me? To keep me going slow? I mean, I don't understand. If I'm going to go faster than you, why do you need to pass me? It's like, I don't know. I don't know what people think when they have to be like that they cut you off and go slow like it's some something funny and then when you have the power to get around them it really irks them but yeah so <laughs> i had fun driving the car it was good drank a little bit of gas but like i said before you don't buy that car for fuel economy um, i did meet with ky chevy later that night we went out to eat dinner and thank you very much sir for paying for dinner that that means a lot i know you're a hard-working guy you got a big family and all that i mean you really didn't have to do that but i do appreciate it i said before i got the best subscribers uh i've met several of you you've bought me uh, a meal uh like josh from uh, chicago's finest Moment gave me a few gifts when i met him uh people have bought the t-shirts and like the dope neon signs that i have a discount code for you down below i have one over here off screen uh, I have two of them, and they're great signs. I really believe in the product, and I got you a discount. People buy those. I get a little commission from that. Also, like my Amazon store. If you buy anything on Amazon, you go to that store. Just go to my store, save it as your Amazon homepage, and then whatever you buy, I get a commission for directing you there. I don't know who you are and what you buy, so there's no, don't worry about any of that, but, and it adds nothing to your cost, but I get a little commission, so don't let Bezos get it all. And these things help fund like these trips. I showed you how much it costs in gas to get down there. I had two days of tickets. That I think they were like $25 a piece. They only had active military discount. So $50 for the show. I had a couple hundred dollars for an Airbnb. Those trips get expensive to bring you the content. But um, it, it, it's humbling, as, humbling that people do support the channel. That you'll buy a t-shirt with my channel logo on it. And that you'll buy the neon signs and that. And it all really helps. And that people see me on on the computer and you want to meet me in person I, I don't even know how to feel I mean it's just like amazing to me that people even want to meet me I'm like so thank you very much I mean it, it's really humbling it, it means a lot that people actually support me that way um, you know like KY Chevy said at LS Fest he used to talk to some of the larger channels now and they used to correspond but now they got big they just kind of don't interact anymore and you know i promised that my original group of people and you know who you are that have been messaging me all the time either on instagram facebook or you comment on the videos i mean so i'll never forget this core group of people that are here because without you we would have never got to 50 or 100 subscribers 500 subscribers we would have never broke a thousand we wouldn't be here today at eight thousand if it wasn't for the support of the original people and also, the very first person to subscribe to the channel, 
Sparty Nation, man, chime in. I haven't heard from you in a while. Man, I'm going to make sure you are okay. Just let me know if you're still around. I'm pretty sure you are, but I know you usually only comment when I'm doing something on the car. But I haven't heard from you, man. I, I want to make sure you're okay. But all my subscribers mean a lot to me, so thank you very much. Like, it's very humbling that uh, people support the channel and buy the merchandise and all that. They said it helps. These trips aren't cheap. So. But hopefully we'll be hitting the road full time and I can stay on a consistent content. I hope everybody's going to enjoy the travel. I said when I travel, I'll be still be doing stuff like LS Fest. There's car museums, car events that I'm going to be going to. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring content from all across the country. Uh, go to cool things like to me, like say the like the Saint the Arch in St. Louis is something I've always wanted to go see. I didn't realize you could actually go in it. When I drove over the road, I drove past it many times. So. Uh, you know, Yellowstone Park, you know, it's one of those things I want to go see. I want to see the Great Redwoods out there in California. Um, I took a tour of the Boeing factory before, but I didn't videotape it, so I'd like to go back. Oh, I actually, I don't think they allow cameras in there. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> you know, there's lots of t cool things that we'll want to go see across the country. So I hope, and then, you know, across over Europe, like you guys have already seen, I've had some videos from Russia, the Netherlands, Panama, to name a few. And I hope you guys enjoy that stuff and subscribe and will follow us along our adventures. I mean, right now with this pandemic, it's anyone's guess as to what's going to happen from day to day. Just crazy times that we're living in. But anyways, LS Fest, great time. It was great seeing KY Chevy again. And thank you for buying uh, my meal. You know, like I said, you really didn't have to, but I do greatly appreciate it. Um, I have the best subscribers, I'm telling you. So... Like, shares, comments appreciated. Stay safe, everyone, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.